Good morning. Good morning. How much does Santa have like to just not have in your childhood? Oh my gosh. Do you know you're talking to a Disney fanatic? <laughs> we go to Disney World every other year. I've been going and camping in Fort Wilderness at Disney World since the 1980s. Oh my gosh. We went there the first year they opened in 1972. We asked the right person. You yeah. asked the right person. And we went there on my honeymoon. We oh stayed gosh. there in the Polynesian. So would you say that Disney has a positive oh, huge, influence? Huge, huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you have positive experience. I, I almost have Disney. ears hidden on <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, positive, yeah. Uh, what image first comes to mind when you think of Disney? Mickey Mouse here. Yeah, he hmm. Obviously. Good classic, okay. very classic. And okay. camping, Fort Wilderness. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yep. Okay, thank All you right, so that, much. You're welcome. Cool. That's it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. Oh, man, that's way too... <laughs> Quite a bit, because yeah, because they had you know, uh, yeah. Disney every Sunday night, mm -hmm. uh, like the movies, movies and uh, oh yeah, all that. Yeah. Uh, would you say it was a positive or negative experience? Positive. Positive. Okay. Do you think Disney has changed with culture today? Yes. Yes. How? How so? Uh, it's more. I. Um, uh, how? I, it's less. Um, I guess. Uh, uh, less racist than it used to be. True. You know? oh, very okay. true. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I think it's, um, I don't think they they uh, have the values like they used to instill in the mm -hmm. kids. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So you think I, they've like slackened morally? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Except, and then, but there's kind of, um, kind of a, you know, but yet the racism isn't there. So, right. True. You know. but I think they become more like aware yeah. of it. Yeah. Okay. More PC. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys missed out. We come from the 50s. Yeah. Well, we had uh, Disney, and then uh, remember the wonderful world, world of Disney in color, color instead of black and white. Oh yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And uh, it was every Sunday night. Every Sunday night you sat there, and, and you had uh, old Yeller movies, and uh, you know all that stuff. So. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. All so right. it was, you know, I mean, the whole family sat down Sunday yeah. nights. And the violence in the cartoons yeah. today, say, yeah. interracial violence. Oh my God! Oh yeah, yeah. Them. Tom and Jerry, everybody beating on each other. Yeah, yeah. 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 stuff like that. So it made, All us, right. it made us more violent, hey, right? For sure. Who wants to go out and punch somebody in the nose? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. How much? But I mean the other parts of Disney too. Um, I really liked Nemo. Nemo, mm -hmm. nice. Okay. Uh, so you would say it was a positive or a negative, or you didn't really care that much? Um, I think it was definitely positive because it, I guess, sparked imagination when you yeah. play it as a child. Oh, okay. Um, do you think the Disney ideology is realistic today? The storyline? Yeah, just like their morals and their principles and sort of how they convey certain characters. Or is it still kind of more of like a fantasy yeah. type? I still think it's more of a fantasy type, but their newer movies, mm -hmm. some of them are a little more realistic, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. so you think their newer stuff is more? Okay, thank Sweet. you very much. Thank you so much. Go for it. How much of an influence did Disney have on your childhood? None. None? <laughs> I mean, did you guys ever watch Disney as a yeah, child? I a yeah, I yeah. Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay, yeah. so you watched a lot of Disney. Uh, so would you say that you liked watching Disney or you didn't? Was it like a positive I influence? I did like it when I was younger, but now yeah, it's but just now kind it's of... Just, yeah. I mean, okay. I still like yeah. it now. Oh. So the movies or the TV channel? Do you like... Is the movies? Movie? The movies are better? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. did you guys ever go to like the theme parks or anything? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All the yeah. time? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, do you think the Disney image is realistic? Or is like the, like the fantasy world that they portray, do you think that they're getting more realistic through the years? Compared to when you were younger, maybe? <laughs> Uh, just what go image around. first comes to mind when you think of Disney? Mickey Mouse. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite Disney movie and why? Mm. I would say Tangled because it's, I, it's like Rapunzel's like me. So. Okay. <laughs>
Relatable. Anybody else? Inside Out. Because that was a good one. Yeah. yeah. Any others? Good? Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much. So our over-analysis, uh, for generally, a person's response really depended on how much of an impact Disney had on his or her life. So while Disney is a pretty universally known culture, some people were still not affected by it as much as others. For example, Miss Green, labeled a Disney fanatic, had a lot more to say on the topic compared to some other students who didn't necessarily enjoy Disney as much. We also noticed the age differences between the people we interviewed and that the older individuals were able to comment more on how Disney has evolved over time since they had more first-hand experiences with an older version of Disney. So for functionalism, uh, since we focus on how the cultural images and general morals of Disney has changed throughout the years, uh, this heavily relies on people considering multiple dis different aspects of Disney and who it affected to properly answer our questions. For the conflict perspective, we noticed an obvious conflict between the different age groups of the people we were able to interview, uh, which then greatly affected how they each perceived the overall changes of Disney's ideologies over the year. Over the years, sorry. And lastly, symbolic. So by asking people what image comes to mind when they think of Disney, or what their favorite Disney movie and or character is, we were able to visualize popular symbols that commonly represent Disney as a whole. So for example, uh, multiple people immediately associate Disney with its famous character, Mickey Mouse.